Hi, my name is Abigail Lucas and I'm currently a senior at UNC studying elementary education. And one of the most important concepts that I learned in my EDEL 250 course, which was elementary teaching in a culturally and linguistically diverse setting, revolved around the Daniels Fund Ethics Principle of Fairness. And through this course, I learned that fairness and equality are two separately different concepts. And there's a huge misconception that those two are the same, but especially in education, fairness and equality definitely have different places in the classroom and appropriate times when they should be implemented. Like for example, equality comes into play when you're coming up with classroom rules. Classroom rules should be the same for every single student and that's considered equality. But fairness is when every single student has a fair and equitable chance at getting a successful education. And sometimes that's not equal for every single student. There's going to be a wide variety and range of students who come into our classrooms, say from different socioeconomic statuses, racial and ethnic backgrounds, and linguistic backgrounds. And teachers need to take into account these various and unique backgrounds in order to support their students. Because, for example, a student from a lower economic status is not going to have the same materials and resources they need as someone from a higher economic status. So they may, they may need more support and resources from their teacher in order to succeed. And that's not necessarily equal, but it is fair. Because then every single student is getting that fair and equal chance at succeeding. And that's what we want in the classroom. And every single student is just so different that um, not everybody's going to get treated the same, and although some people might think that they need to be treated the same, that simply can't happen in order for every single student to succeed.